As you can see, uh, different wheels and tires. Um, these are Warp 9 Elite rims, or wheels if you will, and Dunlop Trail Max Mission tires. And the reason for this is I love my knobbies. I've got Tusk D-Sports on there. They're great tires, especially off-road. But for longer trips that I'm going to be taking in the near future, they're, they're just not, um, let's say, preferred for on-the-road travel. Um, and uh, I know there's some folks out there have said the same thing, but you know, I had to experience it for myself. But uh, this is the latest and greatest edition, and I'm gonna go into a little bit of detail on these rims here pretty quick. Starting with the rear wheel, um, if you look at it, the brake rotor's a little different. And I went with the Elite because it was just a little bit more money, and the rim is a lot stronger. The wheel, the rim on the outside itself, Plus, you can custom choose colors of spokes, nipples, etc. And it worked out really well. Since I have a gray and black bike, I went with, you know, black spokes and the chrome, nip uh, chrome nipples. And also, if you look at this hub, hopefully you can see this. But it's all machined. It's their special hub that they make for the Warp 9 uh, wheels. Or actually, it's for the DR, but they come with the wheels. Um, you can use your stock uh, cush drive system to include your sprocket. So basically when you take this off, you just take the wheel off and you just use part of the stock components. Going to the front wheel, again, you know, you got a billet machined aluminum hub assembly. Uh, same thing with the wheels. Uh, went on great, everything fit good. I did have some trouble with the rear, but I called Warp 9 and it turns out, of course, it was my fault. I wasn't using all the spacers. Uh, when you order these things, if if your wheel has, if your bike already has spacers, they won't send you spacers. But for some reason, if you do need them for that bike, they will send them with you. Um, great customer service, by the way. Uh, Trail Max Mission tires. I was a little skeptical of these tires, but I've heard a lot of good reviews. Of course, my cat's in the way. Um, and if you look at this, here's my finger. These look like street tires, but when you actually get them and see them in person, there's actually quite a bit of gap. On the lugs and they're supposed to be outstanding 50 50 tires and we'll move back to the rear we love animals around here they're always doing cameos again that's my finger and you can see there's gaps and look at the reviews on this you know there's several YouTube channels that have talked about this but they're, they're great tires from what I understand and uh, we're gonna give them a test here pretty soon um, one thing you need to know also about these rims is that they have a break-in period and what that means is all these these little nipples where the spokes are you ride for 30 minutes come back and check the tightness and do that about two or three times and then it's normal wheel maintenance the reason for that according to warp 9 when i talked to him is inside here uh the little things those uh, nipples rest on they have to fully seat into the rim so it's just a matter of a little bit of adjustment so I guess that means I've got to go ride right in this pretty weather. Anyway, latest and greatest. Uh, more to follow. I literally ordered a new suspension today. So that'll be uh, down the road. No pun intended, I guess. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope it's warming up for you. It's starting to here. So y'all take care. Um, do something nice for somebody today. And can't wait to see you back on the channel. Cheers.